And that's a device meant to install what's been labeled white supremacy in the earth. Right? What a better way than to get the black man to worship a white image. Now his God is the same one that's whipping his back, the same one that is allowing systemic racism to continue so that they can keep their place in the earth. And guess what? The closer and closer you get to that truth as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the closer you get to escaping that thing. You can't change the reality without changing yourself. Let me get uh, the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 1, by the way. The book of Deuteronomy 20. Thumbs down, quiet down. How about that? You live up there? You shouldn't you be allowed to live here. This is stolen land, ain't it? Why should I give a damn about you being comfortable in a high rise that you built on my ancestors' bones? Yeah. What tribe? Uh, the, the tribe that doesn't fucking matter. I'm also a black man. How about that? I'm also a black man. How about that? It's also built on the bones of black men. So now you have an argument that just doesn't stand true. And just so you know, Cherokee and Blackfoot Indian are what are prominent on my mother's side of the family. If you want a further history lesson, why don't you come across the street so I can hear you? And don't let your get you beat up. I'll tell you that right now. But get Deuteronomy 28 and 1 while they're making their raggedy ass way over you. The book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the first verse. And, proud, and it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. I watch out. I will talk I said, to you. Watch out. Hey, I will talk to you. Get your, get, your, get your girl out of here. Get her back, and she can speak with her mouth, but keep her hands to her damn self. Turn off because you're, you're going to be the one to inherit the problems if she touch any of Turn our problems. Off the microphone. That, that book no. has nothing to do with no. that. No. Call, call 911. Call 911. Yeah, you will. Why don't you stand here and do it? You're not going to call 911 because there's nothing wrong with us being here upholding our rights according to the goddamn Constitution. Now go ahead and give me that Deuteronomy 28. You take the, the book Lord's of Deuteronomy, name, the 28. The, the Lord's name in vain is what, what's the Lord's name? What's the Lord's name? What, what do you, who do you think God is? The Lord's name is Yahweh. The Lord's name is not God. Christ said, Ye are gods. When he referred to the Israelites, did he not? Did Christ say ye are gods, plural? Yeah. Did Christ, Christ say ye are gods? Christ quoted the, the Bible in Hebrew. And it says ye are gods. It says Elohim. That's a plural word. Right. So God's name is not going to be gods. It's, it is God. It's Yahweh. It's Allah. It's, it's Yahweh. It's and, to, and to say the name, and to say the name of God is not using his name in vain. It's to say I come in the name of God if God didn't send you. Like you, for example. You don't know nothing about God, so therefore you should stay out of godly business. Now what we're going to do is bring out the word of the Lord, and you can like I advised you earlier. The book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the first verse. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. You got to observe to do all the Most High's commandments, right? In, in, in order to be set on high above all the nations. But we're not in that state right now as blacks and Hispanics. Why? Because we have reduced ourselves. We started by reducing ourselves to idolatry, worshiping things, objects that were made with our hands or things that we fished up out of the sea instead of the one that created those things, right? Being the children of the one that created everything and being as low as to go and worship the things that that man created, there's a problem with that, right? We lowered ourselves. So now we got to regain ourselves because what happened was when we didn't worship the Most High God, keep His commandments, get verse 15. This is what started to happen. We started to become what's known as cursed. We started to live degenerative lifestyles when we walked to, uh, to directions opposing the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 13th verse. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And one of those curses is the fact that we will be taken to a land we don't know and have a people we don't know rule over us to where they can bring us here in shackles and slavery. They can bury us under streets that they'll tell us we can't stand on and use a goddamn microphone, even though they laws tell us that we can do so. Right? That's called oppression. How you doing, brother? This message is for you, brother. Right? That's called oppression. And so as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we need to start to realize where that oppression is taking place. So that slowly but surely we can take off 
piece by piece, shackle by shackle by reading, line by line right here in this book, right? One of the truths, one of the lies about, uh, uh, about the truth that's been used to further white supremacy is this image of white Jesus. So what we're here to do is to bash that image to pieces for you blacks and Hispanics so you can see who your God is, who your brothers and sisters are. There's a scripture that says that you should separate from your enemies and take heed of your friends. We just want to create a difference so that you can tell for sure who's who. And I'm going to tell you right now, that bitch and her man, they're the enemy. Right? That's what's going on right now. And they surround you and they smile at you, and they crouch down like a lion goes crouching, right? That reference in the Bible is because it, it looks humble, it looks meek when the lion's crouching down if you're ignorant, but what's really going on is they're getting ready to pounce. That's what lions do when they crouch down. They get ready to pounce, right? This demon is all around you and he's ready to pounce at any moment's notice. The book of Sirach, the 12th chapter, dropping it down to the 10th verse. Never trust thine enemy. But like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Never trust your enemy. 